I blow a T-Plex. Your boy, you see next how that mag and shoddy work. Can't rid this smell with bath and body works. It's sad and probably worse. First, the chroma spit. Wise guys do drive-bys and don't own the whip. Time comes, divine sons need a song to rip. Thugs and harmony, cool, I got a bone to pick. Vlogs, battles, music videos, interviews, and much more. Pushing the culture forward. No Mercy TV. Yo, what's good, y'all? No Mercy. Trap New York shit. No Mercy TV dot com. Damn. I just can't seem to stay out of, you know, the bullshit. You feel me? But um, it, this this ain't really bullshit. This is just me. Bullshit. Bullshit, 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 bullshit. <laughs> like, <laughs> ooh, come on, son. What are you doing? Shout out to Easy, man. Shout out to Easy. Um, I like what he's doing with his platform right now. You feel me? Um, he's bringing on a lot of dope people, you know, having a lot of dope conversations. Um, he's not scared to ask, you know, certain questions. And I think Easy, he's gonna be the next nigga to take over media. You feel me? You you know Easy's not compromised. You know he's gonna ask all the crazy questions that other platforms be scared to ask. He's he's tapped in with a lot of people, so he's gonna get a lot of respected people on his show. So I think it's dope that he's gonna have something that he could do, like in between doing these crazy battles where he's gonna put up all these crazy numbers, like you know, he got his own channel, so make sure y'all go subscribe. You know, I fully support Easy. You feel me? Been rocking out with him since he came to the trap back in uh 2014. You know, but um recently he had a certain someone <laughs> on his platform. And um one of the first questions that was asked was about yours truly. You know, so when he um asked this question about what's going on, right? What I don't like is, you know, when people lie, embellish, or try to make stuff seem like what it's not. So, you know, he had um the Chaldean boy, the, the white boy. <laughs> he had the white boy on his platform, right? And um, basically was asking where it started. Now, um, he tries to paint it, right? Like he was critiquing or like he just spoke on you know the whole dna tooth thing first of all you keep on running with this shit like i doxed him and put his address out i didn't put his address out only thing i said was who he was the blog is still up to this day you type in no mercy tv dna tooth exposed or whatever the case is you can watch the blog there was no address there you know, but but you said this numerous times. You understand what I'm saying? So it doesn't like I, I understand that you're just an idiot. Like you're just stupid. So you don't you you try to to paint things worse than what they are. No, I just you know, you you was right about yes, uh, the whole Turk situation. Uh uh, but no, you didn't say, Oh, uh putting out his information is wrong because what if you got the wrong person? For one, I didn't have the wrong person. I met the guy in person. So I know it's him, the person that I'm saying it is. Just because you niggas tend to put stuff out there without, you know, verifying sources and knowing what you're talking about, don't group me in a category with you weirdos. You know, you know the, the same shit that y'all are doing with, you know, this whole Chris Unbiased situation and y'all don't even have all the right info, blah, blah, blah. You know, even you... Saying that you don't believe he remember, remember that uh, live you did where you said you don't believe that he raped her. You believe he just you know with the uh, ran off on the plug. M remember that. Okay. Anyway, um, you saying that I put his address out, which I didn't do. I had no reason to do that. It was just yo, this is who the guy is. If you know y'all quote unquote look for him, and I had my own reasons for doing that, right? So um, you didn't say. Oh, you shouldn't do that. That's wrong. No. Ad admit what you actually did. You jumped on camera, right? Being a, a, a weirdo, trying to insert yourself into the situation. And you start calling me a snitch and all these other wild names that you would never say to me in person. So that's why I started going at you. 
You understand? You inserted yourself. Like, I want to always make sure, and I'm going to do this. Every time you go on a platform and speak, in, and speak on me and you lie, I'm going to do this. I'm going to make sure people understand that you started this. What I did had nothing to do with you. You understand? So it's one thing if you were saying, oh, you shouldn't do that, that's wrong, etc. But no, you jumped out the window. You start calling me a snitch and fat and all this other shit. And the funny thing is, you was a fan. You was a fan. When I was going back and, and finding videos from you to flag prior to that blog that you made about me uh, putting DNA Tools identity out there, you were regularly watching my blogs on your streams. That's why I was able to gather so many flags because prior to that, you was a dick rider. You was a groupie. You was watching me. You was watching Angry Fan. You watch Math and a whole bunch of other people on your live streams. You understand? So I'm somebody that you were watching. Yet at the same time, I had no idea who you were. You understand? So you was a fan. So let, let's always make that clear. You feel me? You got on the blog and called me out, you know, and that's when the back and forth started. Now, when your channel was about to come down, and this is another thing you have been lying about as a reason, I guess somebody might have gave you this excuse and told you to start using it. And now you're, you're running with it that you tricked me into removing the strikes when you wrote that long email and you also had a phone conversation with me and um in the email and phone conversation there was no uh feeling that you were trying to trick me you were genuinely upset and apologetic that your channel was about to come down because you don't have a life. You're 45, you old as hell. You don't have no kids. You don't have nothing to look forward to in life. You work at a bar. You are not an owner. Your name ain't on no paperwork. You do not own that bar. Maybe your family does, but you are a worker. You receive a salary. You are an employee. Got it? So stop lying and saying that you own this bar. You forgot Showface News already exposed that. You don't own that bar. So you need to relax on that. You understand? But aside from that, um, you apologized and were very apologetic about what was going on. And then after that, you were very nice when it came to mentioning me on your, your streams and lives and stuff like that. So where is where was all of this? I tricked him. I got him energy at that time. You only recently started that, started saying that you tricked me. Bullshit. You understand? So, again, bullshit. Bullshit, 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 bullshit. Stop lying. So, um, you are going back and forth with Battle Truth, right? He's doing the thing where he got fake cocaine on the table. Um, He, you know, got it in front of his daughter, blah, blah, blah. You felt the way about that. And then you decide to say, hey, why isn't No Mercy blogging about this? Thus, trying to throw me in the middle of what you got going on. And I just simply did a response blog asking, why are you saying my name again? Like, why are you trying to drag me in your bullshit? You understand? And afterwards, you didn't like that, so... You decide to, once again, get aggressive and start talking shit. And then it's just been up ever since. You understand? Like, this is your fault. This is your doing. You understand? The first time, you, you threw yourself out there. You jumped out the window. And then the second time, you reignited it. You understand? So that's just what it is. So make sure when you're, you know, telling this story that you tell it the right way. You make sure that you include all of the details. Don't make yourself seem like some innocent victim and you were playing Superman and I was just trying to help and blah, blah, blah. No, you were trying to be aggressive. You were inserting yourself into the problem like you tend to do with every other person that you you know talk negatively about. It's just the difference is I actually do media. I'm actually a blogger. I actually have a platform. So I'm going to respond to you. 
You understand? And Twerk, Homesy, Ace, and all of them, they, they're not going to respond to you, at least not on the internet. You understand? Um, but just stop with this lying shit. You understand? You jumped out the window calling me a snitch, and I addressed you. You understand? It escalated. Your channel was about to come down. You, you, you needed your YouTube channel, obviously, because you don't have a life. So you apologized. Sent a nice little apologetic email. And I mo we moved on. We were supposed to be moving on. But you start going back and forth with other people. And then you, you throwing my name in the mix. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, now it's at a point where it's it's nobody that, that can call me. It ain't a, a, a handshake that can happen or any um, friendly emails. It's just whenever we, you know, do happen to cross paths. I'm just going to, you know. Gonna do you like I did your friend. You understand? So that's just it. You know? But um I just came here because I wanted to kind of just correct that narrative because I don't like when people go on certain platforms and um just embellish and lie and you know not tell the truth. <laughs> you understand? So, you know, that's just uh all I came to talk about, you know? So leave your comments, let me know what y'all think. I'll holla at y'all soon. No mercy, trap New York shit. No mercy TV.com trap New York 10th anniversary coming up. We've been around for a long time 10 years. Whew. We don't put so many stars on, we don't help so many careers, even some of the hottest people that's in the game right now. You know, trap New York been a starting point for a lot of people. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, um, that, that's what this that's what this shit is about, man. You get what I'm saying? But when people, I, and I also People got to understand this. I have a platform, right? If somebody mentions my name, I'm coming. I'm, I'm coming out swinging. I'm coming outside. So, you know, if y'all don't like me talking about y'all or whatever the case is, just stop talking about me. That's it. You understand? A lot of these issues that go on in battle rap, I'm on defense. You understand? I'm usually on defense. I don't just jump out the window. I don't just start with anybody. You know, even the DNA 2 shit, that looks like I might have started with him. It's not what happened. It's not what happened. He, he, he won't tell y'all how um when J2 went viral, right, and he had that wild suspect line that he said, right, that happened on the trap New York at an Atlanta event where he battled uh, Lady J. He said some crazy shit, right? And, um... DNA troop, DNA tooth try to like start rallying the troops. Like, oh, y'all condone this kind of shit, no mercy, and blah, 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 and start sending all these weird ass fans into my comments talking crazy. So, you know, once he did that, I'm like, I got something for you. Don't forget, I know who you are. You understand? So when it came time and people was really starting to look for him and blah, 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 I was like, okay. Now I'm going to throw his identity out there. You feel what I'm saying? So that's just where it comes from. You feel me? You leave me alone, I leave you alone. That's just my whole temperature. But, Understand, I'm like God. Take one step towards me, I'm gonna take two steps towards you. So, if you don't want that, just leave me alone. No mercy. <laughs>